Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. My name is Tomas Salas and in this video we are reviewing the Cold Steel Voyager XL Vaquero fully serrated. The Vaquero boasts a unique blade shape, but is it useful or useless? We're going to find out and see if it earns itself the Tactical Tavern seal of approval. By the end of this video, you will have the necessary information to decide whether or not this is right for your everyday carry or any other self-defense needs. With that being said, let's cut into it. Before we begin, if you love gadgets, gear, and upgrading your everyday carry, take a moment to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. At the time of this review, you can find the Cold Steel Voyager XL for around $85. For the price, you get a beast of a pocket knife measuring in 12.25 inches overall. This is definitely a larger knife with a blade length of 5.5 inches comprised of AUS 10A steel. However, mine is a CTS BD1 from the earlier pre-Cold Steel buyout. Deploying this knife is quite easy using those dual thumb studs, which you can interchange, as well as being able to just quickly snap the blade into place or fling it because of the weight of the blade alone. Locking into place is the triad lock capable of holding hundreds of pounds and I really enjoy the structural integrity of this knife. The handles have nested 6061 aluminum covered in grippy Grivex. I'm also a big fan of the large lanyard hole as well as the ambidextrous pocket clips, meaning that this knife is capable for left-handed users. Now let's talk about that Vaquero blade shape. This thing is wavy like gravy and it's very thin and comes to an acute point. However, it makes for an amazing everyday carry blade. This thing zips through fabrics, food, and other sorts of materials that normally other pocket knives would need many sawing motions to get through. But because of that blade shape, it just thing, just slices right through it. Especially if you go with the fully serrated option, it is literally like a chainsaw. It will saw and melt through any sort of fabric material like nothing. Now the trade-off on that is that it doesn't make the best outdoor field knife for any sort of extended push cuts because those serrations obviously aren't designed for that. That being said, this makes a formidable self-defense tool because of the geometry that it can cut. The wave of the tip also lines up perfectly for repeated stabs and thrusts and is ultimately a perfect everyday carry self-defense tool. The only downside I found with this knife is sometimes out of the box, it can take a second to deploy. That's why I highly recommend you go with a Snaggletooth Wave Mod attachment. This quickly transforms your Cold Steel Voyager into an Emerson Wave feature, and it will deploy as soon as you pull it out of your pocket. This knife is large for the size, but relatively lightweight, coming in at just 7.2 ounces, with a lot of that weight being in the handle, making it very fast in the hand. I'm also a huge fan of the grips and texture, making it easy to hold onto in a variety of different situations. Just take note this is a quite wide knife so if you have thin pockets or other gear in there you might have to think about what you're going to move around that being said this certainly gets the tactical tavern seal of approval and i highly recommend you add it to your everyday carry what i do enjoy about the voyager series is that it comes in a variety of different blade shapes suitable for everyone's needs such as a tanto clip point the new drop point and this here vaquero it also comes in in partial and full serrated models as well if you have a cold steel voyager let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below as well as what other tactical gear and folding knives you'd love to see reviewed if you enjoyed this video and you found value from it please make sure to drop a like share and subscribe because it helps grow the channel while you're there turn on post notifications so you are the first to know of new videos coming every tuesday and thursday also follow us on instagram at tactical tavern to get a behind the scenes look at new gear the testing process and some fun videos you won't find here with that being said my name is tomas salas thank you for watching i will see you in the next video and remember be prepared be practical stay tactical oh.